Dave, do you know what you're doing? Yeah. Yeah, I do. It looks complicated. It's not. The hardest part for you is going to be putting this through the eye up there. And you're going to have to screw this back in. So what you're going to have to do is we'll have this apart. You'll put this through and hold this up and then put this through. And then you're going to have to get this out. That's a lot of small pieces I have to keep track of. Well, we're That's gonna, a lot of pressure. We're going to get a little baggie for you. Okay. And we're going to take everything apart before we take it up. Uh -huh. And then all you got to do is put it back together. Okay. And don't drop it. Patricia. And I'm Dave. During the summer of 2020, we traveled to French Polynesia for a sailing vacation. We had such a great time that we decided to buy a sailboat when we returned. Our new Jeannot Sun Odyssey 440 arrived in April of 2021. Watch as we outfit and upgrade Cavu, learn to sail first on the Texas coast, but eventually the world. Aren't you ready for today's project? I am. Because it's been something we've been putting off for quite a while. At the same time, I'm a little scared. Okay. Well, it's going to be easy. We're going to make this easy. So what we're doing is we are adding a two flag halyards to our spreader. And you want to point out the stuff we've got. We've got... Uh, the shroud cleats. Yeah, they came with their hardware. Mm -hmm. Then we got the Harkin micro block. Okay. And line. Yeah, and that's just a uh, closed line, nothing special. And then these clips. Yeah, we've got uh, yeah, some stainless steel clips for the flags. Texas flag. Yep. Because we're in Texas. And Cavu flag. Yeah, that one made up is actually pretty easy. Yeah, it looks pretty good too. So we're going to go up here and we're going to see how the uh, bosun's chair works. And we're going to hoist uh, all the way up to that first spreader. So Dave is putting on the shroud cleat. There. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. It looks like it's meant to be there. We did a test run to about five feet up and down just to see how the bosun chair works. And then I came back out and double checked all the uh, fittings, made sure everything was secure before we sent Trisha up the mast. We only used one halyard because we weren't going that high. And I elected to use the manual winch instead of our electric winches. So I'd have a little bit better control. We'll be adding a climb harness Cavu's equipment list for future ascents, as well as hard hats for the crew on the deck, as you'll see later. A little bit more. All right, stop. 
What? Stop. Oh, geez. Here's a stressful part. Not dropping these. Shoot, this is a horrifying. Okay, that's in there. Huh. Okay. Rope goes through. Going through, going through. Once Patricia got the line to me, I ran it through the top hole of the shroud cleat, ensuring that the halyard would stay secure at all times. Then I attached the stainless steel clip using a halyard hitch. Patricia dropped the other end of the line to me and once I had it measured off about a foot below the shroud cleat, I cut the line and attached the second clip also using the halyard hitch. Patricia in a controlled manner was easy enough. Using the winch, I just left the line coiled around it and eased her down so she safely joined the deck. Okay. Now we had to move the line around the radar to do the other side. Give me more slack. Alright. Okay. You're around? Yeah. The starboard side was a duplicate of the port side minus Patricia's little gravity experiment. And we got Patricia safely returned to the deck, although she was getting comfortable up there and starting to enjoy the view. Now Dave is doing the ends of the lines with my uh, favorite tool, the flamethrower. 
<laughs> it's a torch, not a flamethrower. <laughs> so we got the flag halyards up and now it's time to fly our flags. Both of us came from North Carolina, but I'm telling you, after the last two years, mm -hmm. we really consider ourselves Texans because this state did everything right. And we've lived uh, very free when other people have been oppressed. Mm -hmm. So, fly this flag very proudly. Make sure you like and subscribe. We've got more big projects coming up and a few grand adventures planned.